Okay. Hey, what is up my cynics? So as we all know, a gaming headset is an extremely important part in any gamer's setup, whether it's PC, console, or, you know, even if you're just rocking mobile games, whatever, having a headset is extremely nice, whatever the situation. And that's why in this video today, we're gonna to be doing a review on the SteelSeries Arctis 7 wireless gaming headset. This headset's gonna run you about $149.99 on the SteelSeries website along with most retail stores. Although you can get this on sale occasionally, I actually bought it on Black Friday last year. I think I got it for about $120, so 30 bucks off. It does go on sale. And SteelSeries also has some promo codes that are out there every now and again. So definitely check it out so you can get the absolute best deal possible. Now, I am aware that there are a ton of reviews out there already for this exact headset. And the headset is a couple years old. So my ultimate goal today is to basically make an updated video. I haven't seen one in a while. Uh, so I just wanna make a 2020 updated video on the Arctis 7 to see is this headset still worth it in 2020, especially for $149. I really don't wanna to waste too much time. Let's just jump right into the review. Now, right out of the box, you were obviously getting the SteelSeries Arctis 7 headset. Uh, along with a wireless dongle. Now I'm not gonna go too into detail on the wireless dongle or any of that. It is a really, really easy plug and play experience. Plug the dongle into your computer, turn on the headset, boom, you're ready to go. Now, first thing we're gonna talk about is the actual build of the headset. For the price, this thing is a pretty premium build, I'd say. Uh, what I've honestly liked about SteelSeries is um, I mean, everything they do is pretty minimalistic looking. It's not flashy, there's no RGB lighting on it. It just does the job right out of the box. So right away, I wanna talk about this headband. This is a basic common thing on a SteelSeries headset. The ear cuffs don't actually adjust like in most gaming headsets. It's just this band system they have, and it's got a Velcro adjuster here if you need to. But the idea of this is when you're wearing it, it actually feels like it's kind of just floating on your head and it does the job. It It's extremely comfortable wearing this thing. Because of this band, actually, you never feel the top metal part of the headset pushing into your head. So really, really comfortable for that. As far as the ear cuffs go, I'd say it's a pretty basic mesh material. Very, very squishy and soft though. And it does a really great job at keeping your ears cool while you're wearing it. And for all my big head people out there, you don't gotta worry, this thing's not gonna like pinch your head. I know I have, a, I have a huge deal with that sometimes with certain headsets. Kind of just feels like it's pressing against my head and it kind of just gives me a headache. I don't like it. This thing fits pretty nicely. Uh, with the band, they kind of just went with like a universal fit deal. Uh, I'm not saying it's gonna work for everyone, but I personally like it and I have an extremely large head. Going back to the clamping part, it's not pressing against my head too much and the ear cuffs are doing a great job at actually making you know, making sure that it's comfortable on my face. And for all my glasses wearers out there, uh, these are so soft that I actually can't even feel it pressing against my glasses at all because that's another huge issue with, uh, with uh, wearing glasses in a headset. Um, sometimes I'll kind of feel the pressure pushed against the side of my head. Uh, I actually don't have that issue at all with this headset, which is excellent. And then the microphone's actually built directly into the headset and it just pulls out, embed it any way you want, uh, which is really nice. And you can put it away when you don't wanna use it. That's a huge feature for me. Uh, and then it's actually really nice. It has a mute button on it that actually turns the tip red when it's muted. Now the benefit of that, and I shouldn't even have to explain it is, all my gamers out there at one point have been telling the most important story of their entire life to the buddies in the game. And all of a sudden they realize that their headset's been muted the entire time. We've all been through it. Uh, or, or the reverse way where you think the headset's muted and you're saying something you don't want other people to hear and all of a sudden you know they know about all of your weird issues. So it's not gonna happen with this headset, which is really great. Now, going back to the setup of the actual headset, it is, like I said, an extremely plug and play experience for most situations. Uh, PC, it's gonna be a plug and play. And PS4, this is extremely compatible with that too. Pretty much a plug and play experience. Now, when we're actually talking Xbox and the Nintendo Switch, 
Uh, unfortunately, you will have to plug this in with a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cord, uh, which kind of defeats the purpose of buying a wireless headset. Now, I'm not saying you can't get those to work wirelessly, but it's probably gonna take some finagling and some weird workaround. It's not meant for it. So if you're looking into this for Xbox or the Nintendo Switch, honestly, just stop now, go find something better that's fully compatible with it, just so you have the best experience possible. Now, as far as the actual in-game sound on the headset, uh, for $150 for a wireless headset, you're never gonna get the top tier quality of sound. Although this does actually a pretty dang good job. Um, it doesn't have any sort of, uh, you know, 5.1 or 7.1 or Adobe Atmos, uh, anything like that, but it is DTX software compatible and it kind of does like a surround sound simulation uh, type deal. So, you, you know, if you're playing Call of Duty or any other like shooter and you need to hear footsteps and stuff, it actually does a great job at adapting to that. And I don't have a problem with it, but if you're looking for some like crazy top tier audio sound coming out of this probably go look somewhere else and you're probably going to be spending two to three times as much and as far as the battery life goes in the arctic 7 it is set at 24 hours of battery life and honestly i haven't done much testing on that i am one of those people that the second i'm done gaming i pretty much plug it in right away because i don't want to have it die on me while i'm gaming um, although it, it says 24 hours and uh, you know, I don't, I basically I like to take that with a grain of salt with any device or product ever. You're never going to get the full battery quality that they say, or if you do, you know, typically a little bit down the road, it's not going to be as good, but either way, that's actually a really long time. I don't think many of us out there are gaming for 24 hours straight. So if you're really worried about it, just plug it in when you're done. You're never going to have a problem. All right, guys, so I did want to take a little bit of a detour here on the review to show you guys the SteelSeries Engine 3 software that you can download. Uh, and I'm also actually doing this part of the review with the Arctis 7 microphone. Um, so immediately you can probably tell the audio is a little bit nasally, um, but for a $150 wireless headset, you're kind of bound to have a little bit of, of uh, you know, that kind of sound to it. Um, and honestly, I've had two to three hundred dollar headsets that sound worse than this, so uh, overall, I I think the audio is pretty decent, and I, I really haven't had any of my friends complain about how I sound. They all say I sound pretty good. Uh, and then I guess before we jump into the software here, I did want to uh, guess bring up one other thing. Now this headset does have some kind of noise suppression uh, when it comes to background noise and stuff while you're gaming. Um, and, and once again, I haven't had any of my friends complain about this, but I have noticed it a little bit. This is me typing on the keyboard and you can kind of still hear it. And honestly, my keyboard's pr relatively quiet, um, but you can hear the keys just a little bit. Uh, so, so once again, if that's something that's a deal breaker for you, and you want to get a more expensive headset that has the ability to drown out that noise, um, you are going to hear the keys a little bit with this one. But jumping into the actual software, once you actually get into the SteelSeries Engine 3 software, you can click right on the Arctis 7. And that's actually going to bring up the audio adjustments. Um, now, earlier in the video, I said this headset does not have 7.1 surround sound, and technically it doesn't. It is the DTS uh, software, which basically kind of simulates a 360 surround sound, um, but it's not It's not like Adobe 7.1 surround sound. It does a pretty good job, though. Uh, so I do have that on, and then I do have my sound profile set to game, because I really only use this to game. Um, other than that, you can kind of change, change the like bass a little bit. Um, equalizer, I don't really touch any of that. Dynamic range compression, uh, once again, don't really touch any of that. But this kind of shows you the different things that you can do with it. Um, so it is a little customizable when it comes to that. And then you can set up different configurations. You know, whether you want to have like, a, I just have a default one going, but whether you want to have like a gaming one, uh, maybe one for watching movies or one for listening to music, you know, whatever it is, you can do that. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you a quick glance at what this software actually looks like and does. 
And just to kind of show you guys what the actual audio sounds like with the microphone on the headset. Uh, so yeah, jumping back over to the review. Now that kind of just leaves me with my overall opinion on the Arctis 7 wireless headset. And if you've been listening the whole time, I've really had nothing bad to say about these. They are extremely comfortable. The build of them feels premium. They feel real good on my head, especially with my glasses on. And I kind of just like having this actual mic part and I'll be able to go back into the headset if I don't want it. And it's an extreme plus for me to have that red LED on the mic light up when I'm muted to avoid any sort of situation that I don't want. And then really as far as gripes go, uh, I don't have a ton. Um, I could see some people maybe having some issue with this headband. I think it's personally really comfortable on my large head. Uh, and it is kind of adjustable here. Although this design does not work for everybody and I totally get that. So if you like the adjustable earpieces, this is not the headset for you. Uh, and then they do actually spin like this for some people that like to wear it around their neck. Now, without the adjustable ears, this actually becomes a little bit of a problem for me. When I put them around my neck, they kind of like choke me a little bit. Uh, and you know, not being able to move these ear pieces, it's, it's a problem that's never gonna be solved with these ones. Um, but I kind of just deal with it. I don't really wear my headset around my neck anyways, but if you are someone that likes to do that with their headsets, once again, you might run into an issue with that. Uh, not saying everyone will, but I definitely do. But honestly, for the price, the premium build quality and the audio quality that you get out of this $150 is a 100% pass for me. I would honestly buy these any day of the week. I recommend them to really anyone looking for a decent budget wireless headset. And I guess that answers our official question from the beginning of the video. Yes, the Arctis 7 definitely still holds up in 2020. And funny enough, how I landed on this headset is I actually went out and bought the Razer $200 headset. You know, the one that sticks out, you know, way out here. Uh, but yeah, the, whatever. The one that had like the, the crazy rumble feature. And I thought I was really gonna like that. And I'm not saying they were uncomfortable or anything, but they were kind of just a ridiculous headset. The rumbling drove me insane. So I went for the most minimalistic, simple headset I could find and I do not regret it. And I actually ended up saving $80 on the purchase. So, so once again, SteelSeries is killing it with their gear. Uh, but enough about that. Either way, that is gonna do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love making them for you. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment down in the comment section down below. And hey, maybe subscribe to our channel. Videos every Monday and Friday. And once again, I am Brendan. This has been a Digital Cynic experience. And if you wanna see anything from tech, games, and movies, to really anything nerdy in between, make sure to subscribe to Digital Cynics.